In this lesson or in this video, we're going to learn how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square uh, with fractions. I do have another video over solving quadratic and quadratic equations by completing the square without fractions. So if you're not familiar with this concept, I'm going to link that video um, in the bio section uh, of this video. And those are problems are a little more simple. Um, they don't have fractions. But for this uh, video here, I'm just going to show two examples. Uh, the one one example, the first one here, I'm going to uh, actually do. And the second one, I'm going to have you try on your own. All right. So same steps um, for completing the square. Um, we want to write x squared plus bx um, equals c in, in that form. So if we notice right here, we want x squared, we want our a to be 1. Our a is not 1, so to make it 1, we simply divide everything by whatever a is. So in this case, a is 3. So I want to divide everything by 3, including what is on the right-hand side of my equation. 3 divided, 3x three squared divided by 3 is not 3. It is x squared, which is what I want. Negative 10x divided by 3, I'm going to get a fraction. I'm not going to change it to a decimal. I'm going to leave it as a fraction. If I could reduce it, I would reduce it, but I can't. So I'm leaving it as 10 over 3x equals uh, negative 3 divided by 3. That is negative 1. All right. Step 2, find b over 2 squared. I don't want to put it here because I want to keep my work uh, a little, I want to keep it neat. So I'm going to actually find b over 2 at the bottom here b over 2 squared. So my b is 10 over 3, all right? And I want to divide that by 2. So that's going to look kind of weird. 10 divided by 3, all divided by 2, all right? If you can remember when you're dividing fractions, uh, what are you really doing? Um, you're doing keep, change, flip, if you can't remember that. So um, this 2 really has a 1 underneath, all right? So if you're dividing anything by 2 or a fraction by 2, you're really multiplying it by one half because I'm doing keep, change, flip. Takes you back to fourth grade, right? All right, so keep, change, flip. So I'm actually gonna erase this little piece here because I'm gonna run out of space. So just remember that if you have a fraction that you're dividing by two, it's really the same as multiplying by a half. So that is going to be 10 over 3 times 1 half, and I still have to square it there. So multiply fractions, multiply straight across. 10 times 1 is 10, 3 times 2 is 6. I still have to square it. That leaves me with 100 over 36. 10 squared is 100, 6 squared is 36. Now, I always look to see if you can reduce. I can reduce this. Um, both of these uh, numbers here, are divisible by 4. So 100 divided by 4 is 25. 36 divided by 4 is 9. So this is my b over 2 squared. So I was able to reduce it. So now I'm going to add that 25 over 9 to both sides. So that's x squared minus 10 over 3x uh, plus 25 over 9 equals one, negative 1 plus 25 over 9. All right, perfect square trinomial. That would be x minus, and remember, to factor a perfect square trinomial, you're just going to take this sign here, bring it down, and take the square root of that last term. So this is a perfect square. The square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 9 is 3. If you don't get a perfect square, that means you've done something incorrectly. So um, for your b over 2 square, you should get a perfect square. And I'll bring down my 2, so I factored this um, perfect square trinomial. If you're not familiar with how to factor perfect square trinomials, um, I'll link that video also in the bio section um, of, of this video, as well as my other video on uh, solving quadratic equations by completing the square. All right, so now I want to add these two. Negative one plus 25 over nine. Um, so least common 
uh, denominator is 9. So that's going to be, I'm just going to do it right here. So that would be negative 9 over 9, right? Plus, taking us back to elementary school with these keep change flip, find the least common denominator and with the fractions, right? Okay, so um, making sure that my fractions are correct. So I can rewrite negative one as negative nine over nine. I just found the least common denominator there. All right, now negative nine plus 25, that is 16. And of course, remember you leave that um, denominator the same. So this piece here, this is not um, anything new. Hopefully you remember how to multiply, divide fractions because that's all we're doing. So here we're just adding fractions, finding the least common denominator, not a new concept there, all right? So um, I factored this side and I've simplified the right-hand side. Now I want to take the square root of both sides. So take the square root, that two goes away, all right? So I'm left with x minus 5 over 3 equals plus or minus 14 over 9. It's a perfect square. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 9 is 3. I'm going to run out of space here, so I'm going to actually just uh, erase my work here. All right, so now I've taken the square root. Now I want to separate it. Um, I'm actually going to... Instead of separating it into two, yeah, I separate it in two separate equations. So that's x minus 5 thirds is equal to positive 4 thirds. And x minus 5 thirds is equal to negative 4 thirds. So I'm separating my equations using the positive and negative square root. So positive 4 thirds, negative 4 thirds. Adding 5 thirds to both sides. 5 thirds plus, uh, 4 thirds plus 5 thirds, that is 9 over 3, that reduces to 3. So one of my answers is x is equal to 3. Right here, I'm adding 5 thirds, same process, and x is equal to negative 4 plus 3, that is 1. So that'll be one third. So my other answer is x is equal to one third. All right, so I solved this quadratic equation by completing the square. Um, so with the fractions, just remember your, your fraction rules. With dividing, you do the keep change flip, right? Remember to find your least common denominator, but it is the same steps. You just have to do a little bit more um, with the fractions there. All right, so we've solved this quadratic equation. All right, so I have a new problem here. I would like for you to pause the video and try this problem on your own. All right, so for your answers, you should have gotten x is equal to two and x is equal to negative one third. So hopefully you got them correct. If not, um, you gotta keep listening. I'm gonna go through and explain my work here, all right? Um, analyze it. Maybe you could just pause the video and analyze my work a little bit, but I am going to um, kind of just go over it. Um, so again, divide everything by 3 because my a is not 1. And I get uh, negative 5 thirds. Um, and when I divide negative 2 by 3, I do get negative 2 thirds. So I have two fractions here actually. But since I want to move my c to the other side, I had to add 2 thirds to both sides. All right, And then I have to find this b over 2 squared. So um, I had to erase the word because I ran out of space. But if you add... Um, or multiply negative 5 thirds times 1 half, um, you end up uh, with the 25 uh, and square, you end up with 25 over 36. So that is your b squared. And again, I had to erase the work. Take the square root. So the square root of 25 over 36 is 5, 6. Again, here I had to find my least common denominator of 3. And I changed that to, I think, um, a 24 over 36. Yeah. So 24 plus 25 is 49. I'm left with 49 over 36. Square root. Square root of 49 is 7. Square root of 36 is 6. Then I have to break it up. Um, x minus 5, 6 equals positive 7, 6. 
And x minus 5, 6 equals negative 7, 6. When I add, combine, um, add the 5, 6 to both sides, I get 2. So I have to reduce that 12 over 6. Then I add 5, 6 to negative uh, 7, 6. That is negative 2 over 6. And that reduces to negative 1 third. All right. So hopefully you got it correct. All right. If you still don't quite understand it, I'm just going ahead and pause the video and analyze my work a little bit more here. Um, but again, um, I want to thank you. Well, not again, because I haven't thanked you yet. But I want to thank you for learning with me.